Hey, hey, it's Shay Keister, and I'm your host and the founder of Casual Cattle Conversations, a global rancher education company that strives to bring honest thoughts and conversations from ranchers and leaders to other ranchers. Be sure to follow Cattle Convos on social media to have more in-depth conversations around the ranching business and lifestyle brought to you. If you are ready to take your operation to the next level and improve your lifestyle too, send me a message about my Rancher Mind group. Rancher Minds are monthly roundtable discussions for ranchers to learn from peers and experts and leave the call with actionable advice to make changes on their own operations. With that, let's see who our guest is today and what experience and advice they have to offer you to improve your own operation. Well, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day you're listening to this. Um, Today on the show, we are going to be talking about making the most of tractor time. And your guest today is me. Surprise, I'm doing a solo episode. I have not done a solo episode in a long time. I normally love to have guests on here, and I still do. But I do want to share some of my own strategies that, you know, I've picked up over the years, especially this year, when it comes to making the most of your drive time, tractor time, whatever it may be during your busy seasons. Now, I say busy seasons, like life isn't always busy, but, you know, I think there's an extra sense of busyness or rush that comes with um, calving, haying, weaning, or if you're farming, planting, harvesting, whatever it may be. So really the reason I'm talking about making the most of your tractor time is kind of twofold. One, as ranchers, there's always a lot on our mind and we are doing office work, making phone calls, business calls, um, doing research, et cetera. Even when we're not doing, you know, it's not all hands-on. I mean, it's not all hands-on stuff. There's a lot of other factors that go into ranching and educating ourselves and learning and, you know, making those decisions. But also many of us, myself included, have other jobs and priorities and responsibilities outside of what we're doing on the ranch, which I think is super cool, is super important. And it's just a part of the ranching lifestyle these days. Now, so with that, when I talk about making the most of tractor time. So I used to get super frustrated because it kind of felt like anytime I was on the ranch, I'm doing some of that work, especially like in the tractor, it was like, I'm being productive. I'm getting a lot done for the ranch, but wow, I just have so many other things I could be doing for this podcast, for my other job, for other personal interests I have. And it it felt like it was just kind of taking away some time from that. And it seemed frustrating at first, but one of the beautiful things with technology is there's a lot of ways to get around that. The other factor that um, used to make me frustrated with tractor time is I used to be someone who got in my head a lot, you know, a lot of silence time, a lot of silence, a lot of of alone time. Um, it was, it, I used to just let my mind run and it was almost like it was creating up thoughts and scenarios that weren't even real. So I really had to work on, you know, bringing myself back to reality and how to use that time and, you know, make sure that doesn't happen too. And so today we're going to talk about how I spend my tractor time, how I make the most of it. Um, and I say tractor time, but it's tractor time, it's drive time. It's whatever it may be that you're doing. And it's really just mostly about maximizing time. So let's get started. I feel like I have rambled enough. Um, And uh, I guess, so to start off, some ways that I spend my tractor time would be podcasts, music, phone calls, and reflection. So we're going to start with one, podcasts. So Well, I don't listen to my own podcast in the tractor because I listen to myself talk enough, even though like you should really listen to my guests. I think that you guys could find a lot of benefit from listening to my podcast and a lot of other podcasts during your drive time. So sometimes 
you know, you may say, well, I don't have service. Well, the good news is you can pre-download podcasts onto your phone, no matter what app you're listening on. So even if you don't have cell service, you can listen from anywhere. And so with that, you know, listen to ranching podcasts, um, listen to mindset podcasts. If you have another business or another job, I love to listen to other podcasts that relate to that while I'm in the tractor, because sometimes it makes me feel like I'm doing, you know, making progress on both ends or in multiple areas of my life by doing that. So really go through. And what I would encourage you to do is make a list of things you want to learn about. Um, find some podcasts, two to three, four, five, whatever it may be, and listen. And, you know, even find a comedy podcast. I enjoy listening to those sometimes too. But it doesn't really matter what it is. I, like I said, I listen to a variety of podcasts. I listen to other ranching podcasts. I listen to business podcasts. I listen to mindset podcasts. I listen to some comedy ones, um, really just whatever it may be. And so I'd encourage you to explore those areas because, You could be learning something about what you're doing during your drive time or what you're doing in the tractor, what's coming up, what upcoming season on the ranch um, can you prepare for or stretch your mind to think about more. So podcasts are really one way that I really like to maximize my time because I feel like I'm learning. So that's something that's really important to me. Two, music, obviously. Now, so whether that's you have a tractor that has a radio or maybe you're upgraded and you have one where you can even plug your own phone in and listen to your Spotify or whatever you want. Um, and our old raking tractor, um, I definitely rely on my AirPods to be making or not making music. You don't want to hear me saying, but listening to music. Um, and so that's just one way to do it. I, I mean, to each their own on the music category. Some people love listening to music, some people don't, but that's just one thing I do. I know I used to listen to, in high school, all I did was listen to music and I never really understood why my dad would say it's important to sit in silence too, but now I get it. And so that's why I like to, um, I still listen to a lot of music, but um, I still incorporate that incorporate that into my tractor time, but there's also a lot of other things that I like to do too. So then I kind of let in with to silence. So we're going to talk about that too. So there does come a point where when I'm in the tractor and sometimes I start out this way, especially if it's like early morning raking, this is one of my favorite things to do, but just don't listen to anything, no music, no podcast, no news. It's just me and the noise from the tractor and the birds or um i've been seeing a lot of deer out lately that's been kind of fun seeing some of the fawns run around but i really like to use the silence time to one take in you know the sun coming up or if it's midday whatever it may be but take in the beauty and think about our ranch our property the land we rent the land we own um really look at the bigger picture because it's not just like i don't just look at my stuff or my family's operation i get to see our land i get to see our neighbor's land i get to see wildlife um you know it's something that it's really neat to just sit and reflect and think about you know what really is in front of me what matters in life and so some of the easiest way to start reflecting is to you know, list off three things you're grateful for. And that's something that I challenge myself to do every day. I like to start off and do it in the morning. And I also like to do it in the evening. Um, But, you know, easy reflections are just, what are three things I'm grateful for? And a lot of times in my life, they're the little things. I will be honest about that. A lot of times it's like, well, the sun was shining today or today we needed rain and the sun wasn't shining or just thankful for my family, my friends, um, other loved ones, like, a lot of times it is just little things or even, you know, if you were in a hurry and someone waved you through the stop sign because they were being nice and they let you go first. Yeah. I don't, I don't care what it is, but list three little or big things that you're grateful for in the day. The other part of reflection that I really enjoy is thinking about, you know, looking at where, 
was the ranch last year? Where was the ranch at five years ago? How has that changed to where we are today? And, you know, what are some ideas for where that could go in the future? Where do we want it to go? And so those are just um, interesting things to think about and keep in your mind. And I'm sure a lot of you are doing that anyways, but you know, if you're listening in the tractor and uh, want to start doing that today, do it by all means. And along with that, I like to think about how I'm showing up on our ranch because that's something that I wanted to make sure if you know me, I'm a very intentional person and I really wanted to be intentional about how I'm showing up on our operation because I graduated college in May and I'm see, I'm recording this in July and it's like, I have this business, Casual Cattle Conversations, which takes, up, which takes up a majority of my time. But I also work for the new Stockyard Group. I, um, I also am a part of my ranch, my, grand, my grandparents' ranch. Um, I like to go help my boyfriend, too, on his farm and ranch. And so it's something where I have a lot of different directions that I'm going. And I'm pretty social, too. I do like to go uh, meet up with some friends as well. So I really like to think about, you know, reflecting on how I show up to the ranch and how I want that to look and what I want my um, involvement to look like in the future, if that makes sense, and do my own pre-planning there. So I really like to think about, you know, how did I show up in high school and how has that changed since I've gone through college and, you know, been home at least part-time on the summers and how can I make sure that even if I can only dedicate a few hours a week or, you know, two to three hours every night to our operation, you know, how can I make the most of those two to three hours? So that's something that I also like to think about and be intentional about. So it doesn't feel like I'm just showing up. I mean, I used to just, you know, show up and wait and be told what to do, but um, I really appreciate knowing that I'm maximizing my time being as efficient as possible. And with that, that also comes, you know, I've, my family, this is a little off track, but we have um, a shared note because we all have iPhones. So it's just the notes app on iPhones that you all should have. If, you know, if you're on iPhone users, you all have it, but it's just a running to-do list that anyone can add something to or take note on. Um, we all, we always call each other a few times a day anyways, but sometimes it's nice to have a note too. It worked really well when we had an intern around as well. So anyways, silence, that's what we were talking about. I really like silence and reflection um, added to my tractor time. The other component of tractor time that I enjoy are phone calls. So, um, and this has been really important now. And it's something where I have AirPods, some people use Bluetooth, whatever it may be. I'd recommend getting some sort of hands-free capability to make phone calls. But I love calling my old college friends. I call my grandparents, um, other family friends, whoever it may be. And even if it's only five or 10 minutes, I just enjoy the phone call. Um, sometimes it's business calls. Those are important too. So that's another way to make the most of your tractor time. And so I've started, you know, kind of implementing this over the past few years. Even last summer, I got pretty good about it as far as how to make the most of it. And I can tell you the main difference for me is that I used to be kind of frustrated about it. And now I really look forward to it because it's like working on the ranch is super important to me. That's something I want to do and I want to be there. But where it gets tricky is when I also have other priorities that are important to me as well. So knowing that I can be involved on the ranch and doing what matters to me and being a part of that, that fills my cup. But I also know that I'm not letting everything else slide on the other end because I am doing something. I am progressing myself in more than one area of my work life, my personal life, um, faith life, whatever it may be. And so that's what I really like to do. Side note, that's another thing I like to sometimes if I can't make it to church, I do like to live stream church and listen while I'm in the tractor too. Or, you know, if I missed a Sunday, go back and listen to one. So those are, you know, that's kind of the main thing. I went from feeling frustrated about it and really conflicted because I was like, I shouldn't feel guilty about, um, you know, working on the ranch and not doing this other work. Um, you know, it should both be important. It shouldn't matter to, instead of feeling frustrated, I now feel 
excited and energized and like they're just the best days ever when I get to do it all. So that's my pro tip on how to do it all, how to make the most of your tractor time. Um, and, you know, let me know and uh, maybe I'll do a little, maybe I'll start doing a few more solo episodes. We'll see. Not sure what I think about it yet. I'd rather talk to someone else than talk just to myself in a mic. But with that, enjoy your day. Make the most of your tractor time coming up, whether that's continuing out hay season, um, going into harvest season, silaging, whatever it may be, hauling hay, you know, or if you're delivering bulls, heifers, if you're making that morning commute, make the most of your tractor time. Here's my two cents. Um, reach out to me for ideas if you're looking for other podcasts, um, either in the ranching space or outside of that. You know, you can contact me um, on social media. Just follow at Cattle Convos um, or search Casual Cattle Conversations. You can also DM me on my personal profiles. That's um, just Shay Keister. I think my Instagram is Shay underscore Osia. But if you just search Shay, that's S H A Y E Keister, K O E S T E R, you will find my profiles on both Facebook and Instagram. So with that, have a fantastic week, a fantastic day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you've listened. And uh, start making the most of your time and uh, be content with doing it all and be excited to do it all because you can. Um, if you've been busting your butt out there trying to balance everything, I hear you. I don't believe balance exists, but I do believe we can uh, figure out a way to do it all and live our lives in a way where our whole, all components of our soul feel alive. So take care. Have a great day, folks. And that's a wrap on that one. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the episode. And if you have any further questions around the topic, take care and have a great day.